Today I'm going to discuss um, this DC motor that I've built here at home and Ampere's law and, and how when a current is placed through a conductor it creates a magnetic field. So the first thing I want to do is just, just discuss very quickly the parts of the motor. Uh, we have 18 gauge wire that we used for the winding. Uh, we built the core out of these uh, sheets of steel that came from a small transformer. The armature is a hollow aluminum shaft uh, that, which is covered with shrink tubing. We've got some shrink tubing that we covered it with and uh, the brushes are also from this 18 gauge wire and then of course we have some batteries to power. The commutators were cut from this uh, sheet of copper. So pretty much uh, some simple materials here that, that uh, you're able to buy locally. So the first thing I want to do is demonstrate um, Ampere's law. So we're going to uh, connect a battery uh, to this winding and show that it creates a magnetic field. First I want to demonstrate uh, where the compass is pointed without a current. And then when I touch this battery, you can see that the this top winding is, is attracting the south needle. If I put this uh, down at the bottom, you'll see that uh, the bottom is attracting the north needle. Uh, when, I, when I spin this, this was attracting the north needle a moment ago, but it will now attract the south needle, and that's because every time it spins, that pole switches. And that's what makes uh, the motor work. Okay, so now that we've demonstrated what we see from Ampere's law, let's uh, demonstrate how the motor works with a magnetic field uh, inside. We're going to create this static magnetic field with these magnets. Uh, these are rare earth magnets. I, this is the only thing that I ordered online from Amazon. And we're going to place these magnets uh, on the sides of the wall here. And what they will do is they will attract uh, each end of this winding. Remember we just demonstrated that one end of the winding it creates a south pole and a south uh, attracting a magnetic field and the other a north. And then they will, they will continue to attract each other and repulse each other like this and spin this motor around. So let's put this here and connect the battery. Okay, and you'll notice that if I, if I switch the positive and negative leads on the battery, the motor will spin the other way. Also, one thing that I'd like to demonstrate is that if we increase the force of the static magnetic field that's inside by adding an additional magnet uh, to this interior portion, then we will end up with um, a slightly faster spin on the motor. And the same thing is true. Uh, let me show you this battery uh, is currently sitting at 7.6 volts. We are going to now use this battery pack that I've got here. Uh, it's four batteries together. And um, let me see if I can get the leads on and show the voltage for that. And that's going to be 35 volts there. So now let's uh, connect this one. And let me see if I can get this to stand up here again. And we'll connect this battery. And so that demonstrates that not only uh, does Ampere's law state that current through the conductor will create a magnetic field, but that that magnetic field is also proportional to the amount of current going through the conductor. There you go.